shines. What's up, mofos? Welcome back to the Ivy Tat channel, providing nothing but the best, wholesome, family-friendly hiking content on the motherfucking internet. I figure we have a little fun today. It's piss pouring rain outside and I don't feel like going out there. Roscoe's over here staring at me like an asshole and maybe I am, Roscoe, maybe I am. But I'm not hiking in that shit, goddammit. I figure we have a little fun and go over, or well, revisit my one of my favorite parts of vlogging a through hike and that is my YouTube comments section. <laughs> Holy shit, I had some good ones this year. Now, when I got on the AT, you know, I was fairly new to the scene and all that shit, and I had trolls crawling up my fucking ass every single day. Uh, the whole length of the AT, they would not give up. Even though I didn't really give a fuck, and I just give it back to them in the comments. On the PCT, I was like, ah, oh, fuck, I'm just gonna let them go. And for the most part, I did. But I've had some doozies on the PCT, too. And it's usually... You know, frequent flyer customers that come t back and time and time again on every fucking video, even though I'm such an asshole and they can't stand watching my ass, you find their names repeating over and over and over again. I guess I'm like a train wreck. You just can't stop watching my ass. We're going to revisit some of these comments. Now I gave up after like 100 videos. I've got a shit ton of them. And uh, we're going we're gonna to react to them now that my nerves have somewhat calmed down and I'm not, you know, butt chafed and toenails falling off and hiking through 95 degree weather or knee deep snow. My nerves are a little calm and I'm sure I can take these comments a little bit easier now. <laughs> It'll be entertaining nonetheless. All right, the first asshole customer of the day is my good friend, Tom Noib, Noibi, whatever the fuck. Tough guy act, cursing with the most expensive gear on the planet. Hiding lifeline garment, shakes like you got palsy and whining for days. Holy shit, that's a mouthful, Tom. You must be aggro as shit. Well, Tom, your first point, tough guy acts cursing with most expensive gear on the planet. Somehow you related those two together. Like, if I had shitty gear and not, and like Walmart gear, I wouldn't be cussing. I don't fucking get why you combine the two, but either who, it pissed you off either way. Hiding behind the lifeline Garmin. This thing sucks balls, by the way. Even if I was fucking stranded out there, this thing wouldn't have worked in the Sierras anyway, so. Shakes like you got palsy and whining for days. Tom, you shouldn't make fun of somebody's medical condition, man. That's not very nice. Uh, Tom, you got fucking coffee all over my goddamn... Y'all remember my good friend Jennifer Appleton, don't you? This won't be her first comment, trust me. Well, let's get her first one out of the way. <sighs> Here we go. What I really find sad about your channel is that you have the ability to be the best hiker channel on YouTube. You could have over 200,000 plus subs, if not over a million subscribers. Your actual videos are outstanding visually, and I commend you for that. However, instead of building your channel on quality, good quality content, reputable hiker information, the truth shall set you free. You've decided to build it on being the most foul-mouthed channel on YouTube. So sad. I'm guilty of being a subscriber because I love seeing what each hike entails, but I have, I have to turn the volume down or I can't even watch. Yes, Jennifer, I agree with you. You are guilty of being a subscriber. I know this because you comment on every fucking video I put out that you were pissed off at my fucking ass, but somehow your dumb ass continued to keep watching my ass. Guilty as charged, bitch. Holy shit, maybe I shouldn't continue to do this. My nerves are getting shot already. <laughs> oh, the next one, look who it is, Miss Jennifer Appleton. If you can't take the heat now, you're really in all caps, gonna wilt in July. Now, volume off, and I'll enjoy the scenery. Oh, Jennifer. Jennifer, Jennifer. All right, shit balls. Let's move on to somebody else. Oh, wait, no, it's Jennifer Appleton. Oh, the very next day. Oh, Jennifer, what do you have to say today about my dumb ass? Nothing like watching somebody wash down a huge hawker. <laughs> With a drink of coffee, first thing in the morning. Yuck! Now, volume off, and I'll enjoy the scenery. There seems to be a trend with Jennifer Appleton. 
I thought it hurts her ears, man. That rock and roll is dangerous. All right, can we move on to somebody else, goddammit? Oh, no, we cannot. Jennifer Appleton, the very next day again. Jennifer, something tells me we should be best friends. I don't fucking know. Just a hunch. Why do you keep repeating yourself in every video? You need to come up with few more, a few more sentences. It gets old, doesn't it? <sighs> Roscoe's over there licking his asshole, man. All right, finally somebody new, goddammit. I'm sure we'll see Jennifer again. But let's move on for now. My good friend, Mr. Stephen J. What does the J stand for? Trust fund kid with mountain house hookup. LOL, double exclamation point. Yeah, I would have laughed out loud too when I saw a mountain house. Holy shit, that is some hilarious goddamn content, man. <laughs> Traveling Yukon. I guess you're a big tough guy. Since your vocabulary is limited to just swear words. Good morning, you mother humper, trucker. Roscoe, help me out here, mine. Fucker, that's it. All right, the next asshole customer of the day is from my good friend, Pro Online Sales. Pro, not amateur online sales. This motherfucker's a pro. Selling nothing but grade A, 100% bullshit, I'm sure. You can't come up with a new intro than making coffee every day? That was your AT trademark. Be innovative and do something new this trail. I tried that, motherfucker. You guys got mad at me. Shit. Tracky boy. My good friend Tracky boy. Whoever the fuck that is. Roscoe, what you want, man? You just want piss like five minutes ago. All right, come on, shit. All right, Mr. Tracky boy. Tracky boy. Tracky boy. Can't handle the language, so I'll be one of the thousands that won't be watching this channel. No likes. Ah, poor bastard. There's more than a thousand. There's gotta be. Like, what, Dixie? Darwin's got like half a million fucking subscribers? Holy shit. Enjoy watching somebody else's top five trials list. Fuck all that noise. Oh, goddamn shitballs. My, 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 my nerves are... <laughs> Alright, next one is from Not About Me. Not about me. Well, it's about me, apparently. Shit, this guy's fucking written a paragraph. Is this guy cussing out and being disrespectful to his subs? I don't think I've watched two of these videos from the PCT after you're seeing him fly off the handle at some subscribers who are generally just telling him to wait for the better views. I apologize for disrespecting my subscribers. Oh, and I'm sure all you guys can remember my good friend, <laughs> Scott Stevens. Scott Stevens made an appearance in one of my videos, I believe in Northern California, when he was, well, let's just read the goddamn comment. Come on, sheeple, the boy said, parentheses implied that he needs a spoon. Shirt and mattress pad. Get your 30 seconds of fame. Like so many others, don't, don't you dare make him wait for a package. Oh, and by the way, you better send him the right kind of dip and the big Nutella. He is laughing at everyone of the sheeple all the way to Canada. <sighs> this motherfucker sounds like one of those preaching assholes from Children of the Corn. I can picture this motherfucker with like a, a schoolyard of children is preaching. <laughs> God damn, Scott. Calm the fuck down, man. I got a new spoon, by the way. In fact, I think I had like 10 offers for spoons, so. I didn't need your fucking spoon, Scott. It's all good, man. Save your dough. Grizzly Long Cut Wintergreen brought to you by my friend, Scott Stevens. All right. Paris Rose. I don't know if that's a dude or a chick. Either who. Dude, all cats, be aware of where the sun is. Learn to use the camera on your right hand in the morning. I'm over the blown shots. This is the first video in two years I just can't be bothered with. How many goddamn videos have I put out in the last couple of years? This motherfucker's probably watched all of them. He's pissed off about two videos? Holy shit, man. Just when you thought you could escape, guess who came back? Jennifer Appleton. All I can see is pain in you. Dot, dot, dot. Sad. Eight likes. Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer. <sighs> your persistence is impressive. You went from getting zero likes in your first comment, and now you're up to eight. Holy shit, you're the big time now, mine. Thomas DiCaprio. DiCaprio? I don't fucking know. Any, 
Anyone that has used that much swearing and vulgar language in their general conversation is showing exactly how ignorant they really are. Zero likes. <sighs> Sorry, Thomas, you gotta step up your game, dude. That comment's been made thousands of times before, you mind? Hi, right, motherfuckers, I'm getting tired. I can't, I can't, <laughs> I can't do it anymore. We're gonna do one more goddamn comment, okay? Tom Salter. Oh, Tom, make it a good one, buddy. Make it a good one. The same vulgar pig. I just tuned in to see who your special guest was. I suspect it was Feathers, who's nice. Not the pig you are. Alright motherfuckers, hope you enjoyed that little step down memory lane of my YouTube comment section from the PCT vlog last year. Roscoe, is your dad a vulgar pig? I'd say that's a yes. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll holler at you motherfuckers next time. All my phones are dislocated. I just keep on